Hi y'all, I am making a ground beef um, lean, like uh, I think it's 10, 90, maybe. It doesn't have very much fat in it at all. So anyway, I've got my hamburger here. I've got this Tuscan chicken burger seasoning from Epicure and we're just gonna put some in there. I don't have my, my uh, measuring stick is, is dirty, but I'll let you see it. Um, well, in fact, I'll just, it's just wet. It's not dirty, but I'll let you guys see how it works. I'll, the best thing about Epicure products is that it actually is, everybody has to eat. So why not eat good and healthy? If you don't want to eat healthy, we got some stuff for you guys for the, the sweetaholics. I am such a sweetaholic, it's, it's awful. I am, I need to stop, but you know, I just can't, I love food, love food. So if you love food, you come to the right place and I'll show you some cool, yummy, quick foods. So, and Epicure has them right up your alley. Um, so I just want to put in, I do like my, I, I like my, my food very flavorful. Um, it's not dull and boring, but I love it with a lot of flavor. And so there's lots of spices in this Tuscan burger chicken, uh, or Tuscan burger chick, Tuscan chicken burger. I do, um, I fixed these the other day and I didn't put any salt in them. So I do want to put just a touch of salt in them. So I'm going to grab that real quick and put that in the microwave. This, this goes in the microwave for 10, uh, for about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to do, um, so your measuring spoon can like literally stay flat and like if you have uh, to lay it down or something if your little one is like going around in, in circles with you you can actually set that down and pay attention to your little one so okay so just under a teaspoon we'll stick that in there okay and then we're just gonna mash that around I'm also gonna make these which these are simply better baked beans. Um, so I can get you a third cup of water, one can of crushed tomatoes and molasses and vinegar and drain and then put into the microwave. So I'm gonna have to cook these separate because I don't want the grease. Of course, I don't know if there's gonna be any grease. The last time I cooked these, there was basically nothing. Um, there's basically nothing on the bottom of the dish, so um, I don't know. Maybe maybe we can cook them together, and the juices from the this will get into the pinto beans. I don't know. No, I don't want to, because this this is different seasoning, so I don't want to mix the seasonings up. So anyway, so that's gonna be really loud when I rattle that. Ziploc bag around so I'm just gonna take it out and get it with my hands so um so I've got molasses down here underneath the in the lazy Susan so I'll get that out after I start up the hamburger okay do you guys know I didn't know my husband has he's the rock hard, amazing man that he cooks, um, or cooks, I say, grills out every meat that we have. Um, we are meataholics, we love meat, we just love food, you know? So we're just going to, um, I have to show you what he did that one time. There was one time that he fixed um, hamburger patties and I was like, Man, you are beating the tar out of those hamburger patties. And this is what he was doing. He was doing this and just just beating it. I thought, oh my gosh. But 
Did you know that that kind of tenderizes it and makes it real nice and juicy and stuff or doesn't dry out? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it was fun and interesting. So you can smell the flavor coming out of this meat. Um, it's to die for. It's amazing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get my Lazy Susan to open up. I have many, many amazing things that tomato paste, classic, nope, not what I need. I need some tomato, diced tomatoes, right? Yeah. So, and I've never had diced tomatoes in my uh, beans, but I'll try them. I mean, it's a pretty cool packet with Epicure. I love it. Okay, now that we got this all mixed up and together, I'm going to get this. Oh, look at there. I'll just pour some more seasoning on there. Okay, so I'll take out, I'll, here's my Epicure steamer. I love this thing. I have not had a bad experience other than the, <laughs> no, it was my um, omelet maker. I had a bad experience with my omelet maker. My eggs blew up on me, but we, we got that all fixed and got that organized. So in here I have my uh, separation thing, whatever you want to call it, insert. And so we're just going to put that in there just in case if anything falls uh, from the hamburger juices and stuff. So anyway, all right, I'm going to half this and make smaller patties. This is so much fun. Who says you don't have to play with your food? I love it. Okay. Now, well, this is kind of a slow process right now, but once it gets going, it gets going. I can make the other uh, ba baked beans. Okay, so those of you who live alone, um, you can get the smaller steamer, and the smaller steamer is half the size. It's literally like half the size. It's really nice. And I really want that for like, to cook like everything in my microwave for vegetables and everything. I love it. Um, it does not have the insert, but um, it's well worth paying. Uh, I don't even know how much it is, but it, it's worth paying whatever it is. This is 44, I think. So I may be totally wrong on the prices, so. I just wanted to let y'all know that if I speak out of turn, then just go to the website and, and then you can know how much everything costs. So, and my website is caseymadden.epicure.com. K-A-C-E-Y-M-A-D-D-E-N dot epicure, e p i. C U R E dot com C O M I had to put that in there. Okay, so I poke a hole in mine and I think you can see this one. Yeah, I poke a hole in mine and the reason why I do that is because if I don't, it'll balloon up like a round donut and I don't want a round donut. So I'm gonna poke a hole in there just like that and then put it in for, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna wash my hands first. The last time I cooked mine, it was like five minutes. So I'll put it in there. I'll check it to make sure it's not overcooked. But I like to make sure it is, you know, cause I don't wanna get sick. And guys, I I do not have any kids. I do not have a husband. <laughs> Nobody gets home except for me. Yay. <laughs> so I can be as loud as I want to be, I guess. 
Okay, so we'll put this in the microwave. And we'll go, yeah, we'll go five minutes. So now that I'm going to uh, get things ready for the baked beans, I'm gonna get a cup. I'm gonna set this aside here. Okay, my cups are over here. I moved them from the part up there. So, I'm going to use these scissors. So this makes eight, eight cups. So, um, serving sizes are about a 1 16th package. About a half a cup prepared baked beans. There you go. Okay. So a three quarter cup of water. Okay, on these on these little cups are the sizes fourth, half, and a third three fourths cup. So I'm gonna put three fourths cup of water in here. like the molasses and the other stuff. I'm just going to do that later because that this is going to overflow in it. And then I'll make a mess and pour it all over the place and we don't want that. So I'm going to dump in the seasonings and what this is doing, okay, so all these seasonings are basically dried. So what this is doing is dehydrate or your, what this is is dehydrated. Can you see that? It's dehydrated foods. And so now that we put it in the water, it's gonna hydrate it and make it, oh man, I wish you guys could smell this. I always say that, but I really do. I wish, I wish I could get this into your hands. But there is a way that I can get this into your hands. If you go to my website and purchase something, that you'll be able to try it. And if you don't like it, contact me and I'll buy it back from you because I love it. I love Epicure. I love the way it tastes. I love everything about it. Um, so now we're going to leave that there. I've got to get some uh, tomatoes. And who would have known that, oh, I got some. I was thinking I didn't have any. So I got crushed tomatoes. I need a half a cup of molasses and two tablespoons of vinegar. Does it matter what type of vinegar I use? You know, I bet you not. Um, but I like apple cider vinegar, so I'm gonna use the apple cider. Okay, and I have molasses somewhere. I thought I had some opened, but maybe not. Oh, no, that was, Crawfish crab boil and bake. Okay. So I'm going to check this real quick just to make sure because I smell it. Not quite. It, they're still puffy like a donut, but they're not near as bad as what they had been. Okay, so now I need, after that's done, I'll put everything together, but I'll go ahead and open this up. Do you see how long that, or do you see the, the amount of time that is spent on uh, baking a hamburger patty in the microwave? My husband ate it and, and he didn't say anything bad about it so I mean he likes grill everything grilled and so when I put this in the microwave I didn't tell him that it was in the microwave he ate it and he liked it because he commented on it he says man honey that is some good hamburger what'd you fix or what was in it it was just my usual
Man, I, I'm cold this morning. I got up this morning and I was cold. And this feels so good. Um, okay, this is running clear, so I'm, yeah. So I'm gonna set this aside. Let you guys stare at it for a while. I'm gonna cut it open just to see. Yeah, that looks perfect. Well, maybe a, maybe one more minute. The juices are running clear, so I assume that it was. Ho oh, ho, yummy. Okay, I'm gonna do. But I got up this morning and I was literally cold. And I'm still cold. I don't know why I'm cold. So I'm going to dump in. Uh, half a cup. So once I get that. I'm going to dump that in there, and once I get that in there, I'm going to dump the molasses in there. You see how this is just thickening up? I'll let you look at that. See how that's thickened up? And just made it really nice and... Yeah. Oh, that smells good. It's like oniony and peppery and some other things yummy <laughs> okay that looks amazing okay let's see how much was in here this is a little warm to the touch but not by all means like too terribly hot so yeah see it we just have a little bit oh see you just I can't show you it because it's going to fall out onto your lap or my lap. So anyway, it's, it's in there. I mean, it's just not very much juice. I guess I could do lift the camera up. So hang on just a sec. Oh, there you can see the liquid. It is not, li not very much liquid at all. So, and that's how much liquid came out of the hamburger. Um, it like I said it, it was cooked um, nice and ready okay so I'm gonna dump this in here and now we're gonna do I'm gonna dump this in here and the pinto beans I bet you I don't have any pinto beans I'm, I'm not good at keeping things in the pantry. I bet you this flavor is just amazing. So I'll do half a cup. That's gonna be rich. Where's half? Okay, there's half a cup. Whew. Yummy. Who would have thought molasses? You know, molasses is always good. Back in the day, ugh, my grandmother did a lot of cooking and stuff like that, and she, I think she did molasses on, in some things. Oh, it's so rich. She made, I think she made a whole lot of 
we would always ask her, did you make this? And she kind of, well, of course I did, type of thing. So they may have been store-bought. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I don't have any beans. In fact, I don't have any beans. Good grief, what kind of person am I? Don't even have beans in my house. I've got some like, um, beans that you would have to like, boil and cook and stuff like that. Well, hey, do you want to experiment though? Let's experiment. Let's experiment and just do this and see what happens. I have like pinto beans. Okay, how much pinto beans? A can, 19 ounces, okay. We'll do it like this and see how we can get away with it. I mean, these are hardcore from the sack type of beans that you have to soak, pre-soak, wash, and everything else. It probably won't be good to do because, uh, you know, you ha obviously have to have a lot of liquid in your beans to get done. I'm, I bet you anything that this will take up. Yeah. See, this is already, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll try it. it. I may have to put a little water in it and maybe water down, maybe yucky and not very flavorful. But I do have another packet, so if I have to do, I have to add in another packet, we'll do that. So we're just gonna experiment. Usually this takes about, um, what? Um, soaking, two hours, whatever. We'll do it. We'll actually do what this says. This says 12 minutes, so we'll do 12 minutes. Yep. And see what it does. So then we have a better baked bean salad. You can whisk in oil and vinegar and a fourth cup of water and stir in three cans of mixed beans. That's good too. And you can add two cups of corn niblets Okay. So I was doing some yoga and I got interrupted by one of my friends. She called and asked how I was doing. We had a wonderful conversation. That's good. So normally this recipe calls for chicken. Tuscan chicken burger. Yeah, but I did ground beef. That's good. It really is good. And I, if you have high cholesterol, this is really good because we don't add in any of our products. We don't add in salt. You are the one who takes care of your food. <coughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> I sucked down a piece of a hamburger. Sorry, y'all. To what I was saying. Epicure does not, this is important, and I want you to hear me. 
Epicure does not put in salt and other additives and other preservatives and stuff. This is like <clears throat> good stuff. Um, if you have high cholesterol or need any type of health <clears throat> regulation of your food, ask your doctor to try this or ask your doctor if you could try this <laughs> because I guarantee you he's going to say okay so what is it what is this stuff so you can tell your doctor well this girl decided to make these YouTube videos and I ran across it and she says that they're really good and really healthy for those who have high cholesterol and other issue, other health issues too. So, please check this out because I know it's going to help you out. It's going to help me out. But the fact is, is that if you try this and are completely satisfied with it, you know that's just one thing that you can um, know for sure that in you, in your heart, that you are completely taken care of. So. Sometimes I have these free giveaways. Sometimes, but not all. I made this last night. My husband was amazed. He's like, oh, babe, that's good. I thought I had food on my face, but it's just a sunspot. Have you tried this before? If you haven't, you can try it. My website, kcmadden.com. KC Madden, uh, KC Madden, Epicure, dot, epic, KC Madden, dot, Epicure, dot com. Sweet tooth, maybe? Organic cane sugar. Agar, A-G-A-R, and vanilla bean. Has anybody heard of agar? Ag agar, 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 whatever. Crazy. Has anybody heard of that? I haven't. Of course, hmm, I don't know. I bet you this would be really, really good. Because this brain, you can, oh. This is like like a vanilla pudding almost vanilla bean panna cotta wow it is if i could read <laughs> okay and then i made the simply baked things oh boy i smell that okay so i want to let you know i bought two of these this has not been opened if anybody wants to have a jar of this, set up a party with me and you can have this for free. Along with some other things if you want them. So this is so good. I had to add a little salt with my meal. I don't know, my doctor says I'm, uh, I have these little, I have a red spot on my eye. And he says, that is a lack of iodine and I need to have it in my body. So I guess I need sugar or salt. I want, I want sugar, but I need salt. But no, hit me up. If you want this creamy potato salad, hit me up. We'll have a party, a virtual party. If you want to go have a in-home party, let me know, and we'll get you set up. Hey, 
I got another one of these. This is open. This is closed. I just bought this. Okay? This is closed too. So, two parties. This is closed. It is not. So, if, if somebody wants this or this, contact me and we'll set you up a party and I'll show you how to get these. Okay. Okay. Has anybody tried my guacamole? Guacamole packet. Pecane packet. Get ready. This is so yummy. Chive, cheddar, and bacon. It's amazing. I'd eat the whole thing. I do. I got the three onion. That's really good too. So if you guys want a test, a little test, lemon dilly is really good too. I love it. Love it, love it. <clears throat> Okie dokie kids. That's what all I went through. Oh, if you like smoothies, breakfast, like if you're in a hurry for breakfast, the omelet maker is a must. One egg is 30 seconds. So if you're on the go all the time to get breakfast uh, down you and you, you have a hard time getting breakfast, this is the way to go because you will definitely save a lot of time and money and stress. Um, pop this in the microwave, 30 seconds for each egg. It's amazing. If you do have a little bit more time and like cold things, you can do your shakes in the morning. Add a little bit of this to it. Just one scoop. And it's amazing. You talk about needing to get regular. Mm-hmm. Eat your greens. Yeah. <laughs> it's good stuff. You should try it. It's amazing. I had ran out yesterday. And I didn't put it in my smoothie. I, and I guess I forgot about getting this into in my cabinet. And I left it in there, not knowing it, it was in there. So, anyway, now that I have it, I have it. But I like, I like to put, um, oh, if you like pina coladas and getting caught in the rain, if you're not into yoga, oh, I'm just kidding. No, but if you do like pina coladas, you got to try this, this smoothie because this smoothie is so delicious. And it is, um, where did my book go? I lost my book. I had my book. Maybe it's in here. We have our Summer Strong catalog. And lots of lots of different flavors, lots of things in here. Um, but it teaches you how to make your grocery list and meal plans. These are perfect for portions. These are those who need to um, look at different things to help lose weight. This is perfect for you. Okay. <clears throat> so these these meal plans are wrote out for you and you can do exactly as you as you want or you can step outside the box and do your own thing. And that's kind of where um, all of our <gasps> all of our stuff take place. 
So, or all of our recipes. So let's see how these pinto beans. Y'all, this is, holy Toledo, this is like awesome. Um, these are going to be, I'm gonna add just a touch water. Let me see the flavor. Because I don't want to dilute it too much and be like, you know. Oh my gosh. That taste is good. That is really good. I'm just going to add in a, a, a fourth maybe. Holy Toledo, that's good. That's that molasses. more minutes. Okay, so back to what we were doing. Um, but it just gives you some uh, amazing, simple recipes. For instance, this bacon and egg potato salad. You have your two eggs, baby potatoes, light mayonnaise, and 2% plain Greek yogurt, two tablespoons of creamy potato salad mix, one tablespoon of sweet and spicy organic mustard, better than bacon topper. That's what we have. That's so yummy. So that's what it is. Let me show you that. Everybody loves their potatoes for the summer. And did you see the cost? It's cheap, isn't it? 57 cents. Oh. That's Canada. 43 cents in the U.S. Makes eight servings. Guys, do you not know that this is like a steal for your food? Y'all, get on the ball here. Check this stuff out. It's amazing. Oh, okay, see. So, the summer tofu stir fry. This one costs three bucks. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So, yeah, see, this doesn't have what I want to show you guys, but hey, but I'm sure you want to know about this. Can you read it? Build your own cocktail. Oh, man. Look at that. Is that not yummy? That looks delicious. What's that purple one you say? Eh, let me look it up. That purple one. I think it's a reflection. Blue butterfly simple syrup. Oh, that's what we have. That's our blue butterfly herbal tea blend. Yeah, that, that's what we have. So, just mix it up. So, if you want your... <coughs> If you like tequila, you do one ounce of tequila, and then some half a cup of club soda, and then half a cup of tablespoon lime, tablespoon lime juice. If you want to salt the top of the rim, do that. If you like basil cucumber mojito, that's one ounce of rum a half a cup of club soda, and the cucumbers, slices, basil leaves, muddled. What is muddled? Is that where they like have the 
Is that where they like have the thing and you like grind it into the thing and the whatchamacallit? I think so. Okay. Uh, kombucha. Moscow Mule. One ounce of vodka, one cup of ginger kombucha. And a lime, lead, lime slice. Sprig of fresh mint. Mm. And there's those summer sangria. You got your 4.5 ounces of white wine. A fourth a cup of lemon lime sparkling water. And you got watermelon cubes or pineapple wedges. Man, that's good. So the tip here is don't pour more alcohol into your drink when you make it. No, it says it's important to remember to enjoy responsible indulge moder moderately. If you're going if you're opting for a cocktail, have it in a place of a dessert with your meal. All cocktails are a hundred calories or less. So all of these cocktails right here, hundred calories or less. But you can't like pour more alcohol into your drink. That's just gonna be more calories. Who cares about calories, right? Okay, let's check this. You know what? <clears throat> As it being such cooking time with these beans, this is pretty cool. So I've had it in here for 24 minutes. Which is not bad when when you have beans that are need to be cooked like on the dang that looks awesome it looks amazing guys okay I'm gonna show you so look at these beans these beans just need to be cooked a little bit longer you see them. I mean, just a little bit longer. They're they're about done, I believe. Let me taste one of them. It is pretty amazing, too. Mm -hmm. I need a little more water. So... Boiling them on the stove for, what, how long do you boil beans on the stove? Like for four hours? No, that's not right. Oh, man. That's very tasty. Okay, don't forget, though. If you get a party going with me, either virtual or in-home, tell your friends about it. You can get a bottle of your Tuscan chicken burger or the coleslaw, which summer is about over, so you better get on the ball and get some. Okay. I'm going to put this in there for just a few more minutes. I'm going to say... <clears throat> I don't really know. I'm just going to guess. Let's just... Do six minutes. Who knows? Okay. Do you guys like desserts? I can make desserts too. Okay, I'll get some desserts. Hang on. So, oh, this. I'm not making that right now because I don't have time. I'm, I have you on here for 44 minutes, and that's not fair to y'all. So, let's do this one instead. On another beautiful day, I will make the cheesecake. Ready? Break. Make it.
Okay, Brenda. All right, all right, all right. Who says that? Who says, all right, all right, all right? Mm. He's a fine man. He is fine looking. I don't know anything about him. I should have been doing all this time so talking to you guys about buying this doing this I need to show you more food because if I show you my food that I have won't you be more apt to buy it if I just eat in front of you oh y'all I live on a farm my great Pyrenees have half Great Pyrenees, half German Shepherd, she was playing with one of our chickens and she, yeah, poor chicken, no, poor Bella, I, I slapped her nose a couple of times, put the chicken right beside her, and every time she looked over to, to sniff that chicken, I bopped her on the nose. She hasn't touched them since. Okay. So we go two minutes with this. I'm timing myself. Okay, and I had one of my friends say, uh, girlfriend, you don't need to use your whole arm in whisking this. So, because I was like using my whole body, getting it into it. That's nice to be so thin, you know. All right. This is really loud, is it to you guys? <sighs> so can you see it? It's getting really thick. So I still have to do another minute. And this, this stuff is thick. This is thicker than normal. I put in a cup of milk, didn't I? It's to the top. Am I supposed to put in two cups? I think I'm supposed to put in two cups. Because this is like, that's like, oh man. Yeah, I'm supposed to put in two cups. I'm gonna put in just a touch less. Okay. Yeah, see that's more like pudding. It's so yummy. Gosh, this kills my arm. I've made this a dozen times at least. And every time I'm just like, ah, it kills my arm. I could not do it right-handed though. I suffered 
<laughs> you should have seen me do it right-handed. It was very, very humorous. Okay. Why? This is not setting up like it normally does. I don't know why, Capron. But I like how thick it is. But it, it's usually like fluffy, like moussey almost. Maybe I'm just not putting enough milk in there. Maybe not. Okay, y'all want to see the beans? I'll get them out here in a minute. Woo! All right, that's enough milk. I'm not, I'm not going to put any more milk in there because the fact I put in two cups of milk. Two cups of milk. And this is one serving, by the way. <laughs> I wish. This is, <laughs> this is a sixth of the package. That's the serving size. This is, this serves six. Half a cup each. Y'all like the batter or the whisk? Y'all like it? Well, I'm going to. Ready? Mmm. Yep. Oh, that's good. All right, now. I'm going to take this out, look at it, I'm going to put this over here, put it in the fridge, and it's going to thicken up. Golly, this looks amazing, guys. My husband's going to be so thrilled. Okay, so I have some in here that are done. I need to cook it for a few minutes more. Um... You know what, ladies and gents? I did not put in the two tablespoons of vinegar. That's, that's gonna give it really good yumminess. Okay, so I'll put that in there, but it, I still need to have a little bit of more water. Cause those beans, but they're almost done. They are almost done. So you take, having to put it on the stove for a uh, couple hours to, to let it soak and cook versus 53 minutes. It's almost done in 53 minutes. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. This looks yummy. a little more and I'm I, I don't think I'm taking away any flavor of the, the richness or the depth of it when I'm adding it and if I do I'll let you know because that's crucial on you guys how to cook have you ever had those recipes where it's just like what tells you the ingredients and it tells you that you need to cook it. But then it's like, how long? How do you, how long do you cook it? I had one recipe and I was like, well, there's the end of that. Okay. So we have our uh, pudding. Put a 
from the fridge. I'm going to grab, oh, my son wanted to do an experiment. I'll show you it. Hang on. I hate it when people go out of view of your camera. Like, what are you doing out there? Sorry. I'll come back. I promise, I promise. Okay, so my son. He decided to... Can anybody tell me what those are? You want to take a guess? <laughs> those are hot tamales. And it tastes like hot tamales. So the, yeah, it, it, yeah. It's like carbonated hot tamales. It's pretty good. My son's like, oh, mom, you ruined it. I said, you're the one who wanted to do the experiment, so why are you telling me that I ruined it? I didn't ruin it for you at all. <sighs> okay. So we got our Simply Better Baked Beans and our chocolate pudding. Okay, so we have basically have a meal. I usually have salad with mine. And then I'll make my vinaigrette salad. And that's really, really good. I eat that up a lot. So, let's see, let's see. Come on, two minutes. Can't be fast enough. So... Raise your hand if you like meat. Oh yeah, I do. It's yummy. Oh, you all. Hey, my friend. She came over while I was gone, got me a five gallon bucket of yeah they're yummy I made them oh my gosh you talk about being worried about your body <laughs> when you go to the bathroom it's like oh my gosh it's kind of red yeah so when you eat a lot when you eat a lot of these beets. Those are so good. I, and I did a quick way of, I did a quick way of um, canning. So what I did was basically put these beets into my Epicure. I, I peeled them with the potato pillar and then I put them in the uh, microwave cooked them then oh I before I put them in the microwave I sliced them so these are sliced and then some of the smaller ones are just whole like itty bitty baby um, things uh, beets oh my gosh they're so good so easy and Literally, I can put these in the fridge and they'll keep for like, what, two months, I think. Two or three months. Pretty awesome. So we're going on about an hour here. And these are six minutes is up. So let's see here. Oh, Y'all. So, so, so good. All right. You, so, you want to see it? You see? You see? I can't hear you. You want to see? You want to see? Can't hear you. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? 
That looks good. So let me taste it. Holy Toledo, Batman. That, you talk about flavor. So, how much water did I dump in there? I don't know. I want to dump a little more. I have just a touch of chew on it. So we'll cook it. And I'm going to say another... You know what? I put the apple cider vinegar in, and it's truly gives it that nice, good pop. Yum. Okay. So who can make beans within an hour of the microwave? Crazy, huh? Okay. All right, kids. I'm gonna check on my dog because I don't want him. Oh, she brought me a bone. It's a, we have cattle. No, she didn't kill a cat. She didn't kill a steer or anything. But, oh, I tell you what, homemade things are just pretty awesome, aren't they? I love it. Who all cooks homemade stuff? I love to cook homemade stuff, and I love to hear your take on certain things too. So holler at me, let me know what you like to do. This is so yummy, I love beets. I remember as a kid, my dad trying to get me to eat beets, and I refused, refused. I am 42 right now, and it's taken me, I think about what, two years ago? I think about two years ago, I tasted them, and I'm like, holy cow, where have they been all my life? It's funny how your taste buds change a lot, too. Yum. I just thought of something. I can make my own ground chicken because I do have to get that attachment though. Um, I've got a KitchenAid and the, the thing on the front. You know, I stuck my finger in it one time. I got shocked. It was funny. I didn't feel good, but it was funny. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. I was cleaning it in it and I got shocked by it so yeah mm. my grandmother would take a tablespoon of vinegar and just drink it oh that's all I got to say about that. Woo. And it's good and healthy. She was she wasn't ever sick ever. I don't ever recall her being sick. So maybe maybe those good old things that you hear back in the day that they did. Maybe it's a good idea to do it. Because we may be losing stuff in history that we're not teaching our kids. And I had one of my friends, we were in Bible study, and she, she brought up something and it just struck my heart. And I'm like, oh man. Yeah. just seems like it's not cooking at all. I can feel, I can stir it and it feels crunchy still. So, I don't know. 
That's good. That's real good. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. I don't know how long to cook this anymore. I'm lost. So, anyway, I will let you all know on my next YouTube video to tell you how long I cook these suckers. Um, I did 24 minutes. I did 30 minutes. Almost, let's say, I've done an hour. I've done an hour right now, so... I will keep you in in the loop on how long this takes. But don't forget, guys. These are my unopened bottles. So contact me if you do want to schedule a virtual party and I will direct you on how to do that. And we will get cooking. It's yummy fun. And tell me if you're a dessert person or tell me if you're a certain type of flavor and I will get you the right type of food that I, I can cook for you guys okay okay we'll see you on the next YouTube see y'all